Okay, let's do. Let's look at this. Let's take three x squared plus three x minus four, and let us find a uh, minimum value. And so to do that, we want to look on this graph and see if we have uh, find a max or min value, which on a, on a quadratic will be your vertex. So this is going to be the best way to do uh, to work a quadratic problem if you need a vertex for your problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, on your Inspire, we're going to create a new document. And if you have anything that's in there, you usually would choose to not save. And let's add a graph. Uh, and then put in 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. And graph that. And usually when you when you graph this, uh, the window for the Inspire should work out really well. If it doesn't, if it's not a window that you like or you can't see the vertex, then choose Menu and choose the window zoom key and go to window settings and when you do that you have several options here to change your x min and x max and y min and y max so that you can get to a place on your graph where the uh, vertex is visible for us our vertex is visible it's going to be a minimum value on this graph and so to find exactly where that vertex is uh, hit the menu key choose to analyze the graph choose to find the minimum and then uh, you, to find the minimum, you have to tell the calculator how to look moving from left to right. So use your mouse to click over to the left side of the, of the minimum. And then use your mouse again to click through and on the right side of the minimum. And once you've done that, it will tell you what your minimum value is. And, uh, and, and on that, it's your vertex as well. So, so our minimum value on this guy is negative 0.5 and negative 4.75 and and that's all there is to its minimum value if you want to find a maximum value you take the same steps but instead of choosing minimum you choose maximum uh, and it's it's really easy and then it gives us that vertex right away so we know where those values are